Queen Elizabeth will celebrate a record-breaking 70 years on the British throne Sunday. CBS News contributor Simon Bates has more in this week's London Calling. And as a reminder, Simon's opinions are his own and not reflective of CBS News. 70 years ago this coming Sunday, the young Prince Philip was faced with one of the toughest tasks of his life. On holiday in Kenya with his wife, Princess Elizabeth, he had to break the news that her father had died during the night and that she had now automatically become Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. The couple flew back to Britain almost immediately and began a winning partnership that lasted for decades. She is now Britain's longest reigning monarch, and what a reign, peppered with international tours as well as 70 years of service to this country as our head of state. Now, at the age of 95, she's understandably slowed down a little. No more foreign trips. And younger members of the royal family are taking over some of the heavy lifting at home. Sadly, she's facing her platinum jubilee year alone without Prince Philip, who died last year. Now, whenever I've met her, the gaze has been warm but gives nothing away. She is charming and brilliant at the kind of small talk that would leave most of us breathless. In fact, we don't really know much about her except that she loves horses and she loves dogs and she is probably the greatest asset this country could have. I can't recall the Queen ever putting a foot wrong. She is, of course, as our largely ceremonial head of state, only half the constitutional process in this country because just a short walk down the road, in complete contrast, sits the other half, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, currently under investigation by the police on suspicion of breaking the lockdown rules. When you look at the calibre of many of the Queen's Prime Ministers over the last 70 years, from Winston Churchill to Margaret Thatcher to Tony Blair, you can't help but wonder, what must she be thinking? That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.